2018 kind of vibe. La música by Raj and Twinkin'. My mood all year. Stare the paper, baby, then stay out the way. Stare the paper, stay out the way. Stare the paper, baby, then stay out the way. Stare the paper, baby, then stay out the way. the wagon don't play with her Purr. okay in my office and i need to take all this shit out the wagon because who's gonna carry all that so i was gonna do my like put on some lashes but i don't think i'm gonna put on no lashes honestly i got all these like my books and stuff out i need to throw this away that's the cardboard that this desk was in and i just never I never throw it away. I need to go ahead and throw that away. Um, right now, I'm just trying to organize the rest of my week. Because I really feel like I did not really plan my week out like that, for real. And, yeah. So, I'm organizing my week. Um, I need to edit and design a few things. Just really figure out what's going to be the, the motion. The notion. Especially going into the next month. I think we have... It's pretty much going to be like two weeks and like counting this week until next month, which is June. And I'm just like, okay, what's the plan? What's the plan, sis? Um, that's really that. Right now, I feel like I'm in the middle of just doing like a hard reset of my life, if that makes sense. Like, I just need a hard reset. And that's what I've been... Really just doing, just like reading a lot of different books. Um, I've been incorporating more working out into my schedule. And now I need to like really like pay attention to the things that I'm eating. Because I'm really like understanding how the stuff that you eat in can affect the way that you feel. And it's like we hear that all the time. But until you really are experiencing it and you're eating something. And then you notice how whether you feel drained after or you feel anxious after like anxiety. So I'm just like, I need a reset. So I don't know if I want to do like a smoothie or juice cleanse or what. But I'm just really trying to get myself more in alignment. Like more centered. And I can show y'all a few books I've been reading. Okay, so I have this book here. It's called Thank Your Way to Wealth. I just started this one. I like it a lot. Um, I'm on chapter two. It's so many gems in this thing that last night I had to take a pause and I kind of had to like, I had to let my brain digest everything because I'm one of those people that highlight, underline, take notes and stuff when I'm reading. So this is a really, really good book. I highly recommend it. It's by Napoleon Hill. And y'all know anything Napoleon Hill right? it's like goaded. Like whatever he writes is goaded. I just also started this book here. Um, it's called Unlock Your Macro Type. So this one really is all about like dieting and nutrition and just like understanding your body type. And I'm in the beginning of this book as well. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to dive in more into this book today because I really want to make sure like I'm giving my body everything that it needs. Everything that it needs and more. Um, and then the last book, which I've started this book and stopped this book a few times. Not stopped it, like, intentionally. It's just that I'll put it off to the side. And what's changed this time around is all three of these books, I always leave them on my bed. So they're on my bed. I see them. So I'm liable to just pick up one of them and just start um, reading it. And I'm replacing reading with just like mindless scrolling because I tend to do that. Like, I'm, I feel like I've been in a negative, like, loop, like a habit, like bad habits as far as just always on social media. Mind you, I'm not even posting like that. So it's like, if you're not really posting, what do you really like on social media for? So this book here um, is all about the music business. I'm... I'm all everywhere in this book. Like, it's like I was going to start it over from scratch, but I didn't. I just went and I picked up 
um in part two of the book which is which is all about um record deals look my notes is falling out when i tell y'all i don't play no games my notes just fell out the book so instead of just starting over from part one and i believe i've started over from part one like two different times to a point where I remember like what part one's pretty much about. So I was like, let me just dive into things that um genuinely interest me. So I've just been between these three different books for like the past week or so. Or well, this is probably going on the second week. And at first I was skeptical about like reading so many different books at once. But then I had to like you know, go back into my mind and I'm like, well, when you're in high school, let alone even college, I mean, you're taking more than one class. You're taking more than one course and each class is going over some type of book and each class is going to give you homework. So we've always have been like this, you know, if you elementary, high school, I know high school, especially, you know, you take in six or seven different classes. Each class got their own book, their own, um, syllabus that they're following and they require you to read so i feel like right now i'm in my own i got myself i put myself through school right now you know and i'm just reading about the things that i feel like i can apply right now if that makes sense so last night after reading the first book i showed y'all thank your way to wealth i just had so many like different positive things come into my mind and one of those things was I decided I need to put myself on a schedule because I don't really live life right now um on a schedule like I just wake up kind of kind of just do my own thing and go with the flow but going with the flow has been really making me feel like I'm sort of just drifting through life a bit and I don't like that feeling so I made my own little schedule last night. It's very in-depth, very deep. Like, okay, you need to be up by 9 o'clock, the latest, like 9. And 9 is late to me. Um, So, I follow this thing really in-depth, like, surprisingly. Like, I was like, okay, by 10, 1030, you're done with your morning ritual. Um, You eat breakfast, you assess your day, and then you work out at 11 to 12. And today, I did Pilates at the gym la fitness they had a class so that's my first time doing pilates and i'll be hearing the girls talking about it on tiktok and lori Hardy. not answering calls right now so i did pilates and then i literally had this thing very thorough i was like by the point it's 12 30 ish you should be back home you shower you dress up and you head to the office you need to leave by 1.30. I put 1.30 slash 2, but I really wanted to be out the house by 1.30. And I did not leave the house by 1.30 today. So I kind of beat myself up, like, mentally a little bit about not leaving the house at 1.30. Um, I feel like I tried to cram a lot of different things in, like, doing my makeup, trying to cook another meal before I got to my office. Like, so that's why I got to my office. I left my house, like, 2.20. And I got to my office 2.40-ish, 3. So, I'm only trying to be in my office today from 2 to 8. I have 2 to 9 as the latest. But I know I want to leave today by 8 because I want to go to the gym again before my gym closes. At least it is closes so early. It closes at 10. I'm like, y'all couldn't at least be open till midnight? Like, um, so, it's like, okay, you got to your office pretty much an hour late so you're taking an hour from yourself um from your create you know your creative schedule so um what i'm about to do now is i feel like i'm going to go through like a order of most important to least important of things i gotta do i got a binder i want to design my binder like pretty much put almost like a like a collage on it I want to do that, and but I do want to be able to edit and design some content today. I was really focused on, like, we're going to edit, we're going to design, and I don't think I'm going to film. Well, I'm filming now, but, like, as in filming content that needs to be posted right away, I don't think I'm going to do that today. Like, I brought my ring light for just in case, but that's what we're working on, being more intentional and being more clear. Like, okay, even, like, for tomorrow. I don't want to come to the office tomorrow and be like, 
what is it that I need to get done? No, I already know what I need to, this is what we're doing. So I just really need to set my overall intention for the week and go from there. So, go ahead. Ugh. Hurry your ass up. I am officially leaving my office. All this damn traffic, y'all. Why is there so much traffic down here? I ask myself this every day. I don't know if it's just me, but I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max, right? My photos and videos are literally at like 4,000 and something. Probably close to 5,000. Like photos and videos as a total. And I have a 125 gigabyte phone. Why am I always out of storage space? With 125 gigabytes and then my iphone 8 plus that i still have that shit got like 14 15 000 photos on there still to this day and that shit was nowhere near 125 gigabytes so i'm confused not that we upgraded the phones upgraded the phones and it's giving us less shit like i'm confused i'm confused confused I started my makeup per usual started it didn't really finish it and my hair is not done so i'm gonna do my hair in the back it is a little early oh hold on let me let me turn off the radio because baby baby turn off that radio so i can make my little my, my little youtube coins okay so here i am headed to work and i was like let me whip out my phone and start vlogging because i have not been on my vlogging shit so i'm like okay you're headed to work. You got a customer. Hurry the fuck up. I hate when people be driving. Y'all, the Floridian just came out of me. Like, hurry up. Um, I'm going to do my hair and my makeup in the back. I kind of started my makeup. And currently, I'm trying to get to work before the hour so that I can pay a cheaper tip out. Because I am i don't plan on being there all night. And I'm literally only going to work because I have this customer coming. So, I'm praying, fingers crossed, that he understands the assignment. And um, he texts me talking about, I got, you, I got a surprise for you. Baby, if the surprise ain't a thousand ones, you can keep that. <laughs> That sounds so mean, don't it? That sounds so superficial. But he literally was like, I'm headed to go pick up your surprise now. And I'm like, sorry, please don't. Please don't come, come up in here doing too much. Please don't. We don't got time. And it's a Sunday. I never work on those Sundays, y'all. I never work on Sundays. Like, Sundays are for me. So, I was going to take my hair out and stuff like that. But... Since he was like, he want to come out, catch an early vibe with me. I was like, all right, I ain't going to take my hair out just yet. But I'm so ready to take my hair out, y'all. All right. I'm going to come and book a straight dish, you know. Gonna, you know. So, I low-key has seen one of my old customers here. I seen him like two weeks ago. The bitch wasn't trying to dance me, right? So I'm like, okay, I got a new customer coming tonight, and I pray this new customer show out. When I say show out, show out. Can y'all hear this music? Can you listen to this country music? That's what I'm saying. What's up, y'all? So it's the next day. I got me some breakfast here, y'all. Cause a real girl have. 
I ain't eat nothing. It's early afternoon. It feels like morning to me, which I hate because I'm like, okay, girl, it's it's the afternoon. Get it together. I got me some Denny's. I have not ate at Denny's in ages, so I'm gonna enjoy this. Some pancakes, and, you know, the whole shabam. Um, I'm about to head to my shop, and we're gonna do a money count there. And that is how the morning is going so far. So I'm gonna fill y'all in on all the details. I've been getting loaded, devil on my shoulders. God got my back, so I keep on rolling. Yeah, drop top of clan. Ooh, everybody's there. Okay, so hold on, baby. I don't know. Do, 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 do. Cause this one is like one of those high, you don't know, like those high chairs, those beautician chairs. This is like my makeup artist chair, so that's why I'm sitting up so high. So if it looks like I'm sitting up high, that's why. Um, there's just so many things. Like I swear, is the work ever like truly finished? Like, is there ever a like, is the work ever done? Okay, will the work ever be done? So, this is the money from last night. That's a good amount of money. Or should I just do like one of these? Oh no, wait, y'all know it'd be trash and debris in these. Oh, it's on the table. Okay, all right. All right, let's just. Um, yeah. Okay, my bad, y'all. Disclaimer, if the last few clips was blurry, that's my bad. I didn't know the lens was not focused. Last night, I had a customer give me this, y'all. And at first, I don't know why, the first video clip that came to mind was, um, if y'all be on TikTok and y'all follow Tabino, and he be like, he got this popular video where he said, what the fuck is this? This is not Chanel. Right here. Chanel. I got you a skunk. Because you're my stinking link. You what? like it? You like it? The fuck is this with your broke ass? What? Is, what? That's why I don't talk to your broke ass. It's about you the, broke. It's about the meaning of... That's not Chanel. It's about... Get out of my face. Like... <laughs> That's the first thing that came to mind because I'm like, what is this? But it's an Amazon gift card for $100. And I was like, he handed it to me and he was like, okay, you should be able to get some things off of your wish list with this. And I'm like, okay. And yeah, so it's a $100 gift card. And he's talking about my wish list as far as I got a wish list that I recently put up, an Amazon wish list. So, all of my secret admirers and lovers out there that can get things off of my wish list for me. And, mind you, I just put this wish list up a week ago. So, when he gave me this, I'm like, let me find out you tapped in. Like, first of all, I didn't even know you follow and watch my shit. So, I'm like, you tapped in? Like, okay. And, yeah, so he handed it to me. I was like, I hope. He's not, like, this is the only thing he came to the club to give me. Like, not to sound so superficial, but it's like, baby, where's the money? But he delivered, y'all. So, y'all let me know, do y'all think that, do y'all think he understood the assignment? I think he did. I think he did. So, hopefully this video isn't super, super long. And every time I say that, like... It turns out to be a super long video. But, um, I guess we could do a quick recap on the night. The night. How did the night go? On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say it was an 8. Like, I feel like last night was pretty good. Yesterday was Sunday. I really never work on those Sundays, for real. Even the DJ, he was like, I never see you on a Sunday. Only out because I got somebody coming to see me. That's why. That's why. I will say our club was a bit slow, but it was expected because it's a Sunday. Like, 
some days ain't no big super nights at our club. I'm trying to think, was there anything that really stood out? Because honestly, last night was a simple night. Like it was come to work, get your money and go. So it's like I made money on stage. I made money off one other group and then mainly my customer, like mainly my customer last night. There was this one girl in the, in, in the locker room. I had never seen her before. And she was like, you inspired me to get out and, and do this. I was like, really? Like, I, be, I be sleeping on the impact that I have. I think that's me. Like, I be sleeping on the impact that I really have. And it's crazy because I want to impact the world in a positive way. But I be sleep on the impact that I actually have. She was like, I recently had a baby. And, you know, I was kind of nervous to get back out here. But I seen your videos and you inspired me to get out here and do this. So I'm like, really? Me? And one of my, um... She's pretty cool. One of my other dancer girls that I know, she's pretty cool. She's like, yes, you pretty. You. Yes, you. And I'm like, <laughs> like y'all, I just be living my little life. And I be, it's like I be putting out stuff into the world. And I just be sleep on the fact that I really do have an impact and I really do have an influence. So I thought that was really cool. Okay, so I haven't counted it yet. I've just straightened it. I feel like I got about a good $400 or so in just ones, and then I have $300 bills. So I'm about to go through and count that now. So I'm pleased to tell you, you know, last night you girl made some shmoney. Here's the ones. And a couple more, I have like a, a few strays. Oh, I got one over here too. I got a rip dollar. They finna take this rip dollar. It's not ripped in half, but it's yeah. So I got 500 ones, 300 in big bills. You do the math, girl. You do it. You do the math. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six ones. You do the math, girl. I'm gonna let y'all. This is the FK here. 500 ones. 300 big bills. Y'all do the math. So, I know y'all are probably like, well, Sharice, what are you going to do next? So, I'm about to take this to the bank before the bank closes. And then, I'm probably going to do, like, a little bit of self-care. Taking my hair out. Um, What else I wanted to do? I wanted to get my nails done. But, I doubt I'm going to have time to do that today. So, I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. And then, um, I need to plan out my week. I noticed Mondays have become, like, my week planning day. And I don't want Mondays to be that day. I want Sundays to be, like, that day where you kind of just plan out the week, the goals you want to achieve, and all of that good stuff. So, I'm about to do a little bit of that. And then, that's probably how the rest of today is going to go, honestly. <laughs> Stack the paper, baby, then stay out the way. Stack the paper, stay out the way. Stack the paper, stay out the way. 